Interview and job search strategies that work. Regret weighs more than failure. And, you know, I'm, it's, I obviously, I've had regrets, by the way, in the IT field. I should have learned this. I should have learned that. Um, I remember one particular point when I was overseas and these, I was, I was going to my, my apartment and I was walking by the pool and um, these individuals, maybe on the third floor, they said, hey, um, you want to come up and, and learn some, act, you know, whatever, Windows Server stuff? And I wasn't a ad, Windows admin then. I was a microwave guy. And I said, oh, no, no, I'm good, you know. And, of course, hindsight's twenty twenty, And and that's, that's an example of a no. Like, no, no, you know, me thinking, okay, I'm good with my microwave tech job my skill set. No, no, I don't need to learn anymore. That's basically what I was telling them essentially was, no, I don't need to learn anymore. I I know everything. You know, my my career field's going to take me, you know, to great heights or whatever. I don't need to learn any other, you know, skill. It's not valuable. Which could be further from that's so far from the truth by the way. And in, in IT in general, all of these skills are very applicable to one another actually. Very applicable. Um, and as I learned different technologies and, and different um, things about other different fields, for instance, storage has a tie-in with like backup, and backup has a tie-in with every other uh, type of field. So it's really uh, good for me to learn all of that stuff, actually. It's very beneficial. Which brings me to my, my next point, really, actually, is this. So recently I had a, um, a job... It's not a job. It's just a talk, right, basically. And it's for like 90 – well, it's in it's in Minnesota, right? And it does Commvault. Since I know Commvault, it, it's in my field. And um, some, some of the other skill sets that are needed, like VMware, et cetera, et cetera. And had I not understood or had I not learned Commvault way back or, or kept my skill set up, I don't think I'd be ready for this position. And obviously, I'm just talking to them, right? So they asked me, they said, well, what do you want to make, right? And um, I have a number in my head, and I told them 95 an hour, basically, right? So that's what I, I said, yeah, I want to make 95 an hour. So 95 an hour is, I don't know, 160, 70, whatever it is, a year, right? And, and I told them on a corp-to-corp -corp basis, by the way, right? Now, you, you may know this about jobs. Um... You know, there's, you may get it, you may not get it, whatever. But I go into every job interview or every potential as I'm, as I'm going to get it. So I'm planning, you know, planning the uh, scene out, planning what it's going to look like. So then in my mind, it's almost like um, I imagine it and then I have an emotion about it. So I'm, I'm imagining I'm living in Minnesota. I'm imagining I'm working there I can I can imagine I have the emotions of it basically and do my research what's a what's an apartment cost basically what's the cost of living all of those little things that I I need to know right that, that go into going and making that decision and if nothing happens okay so be it it's this is common I mean a lot of times I've had the same thing happen where I've had potentials in like uh, Nashville uh, California you know, lots of different places, by the way, who are like, oh, yeah, you know. And obviously you know that, right? Recruiters are excited, excited, excited to, you know, oh, yeah, you, we're going to hire you. We're going to hire you, right? And they're so excited. And they're like, Meow, right? There's nothing nothing after it. So if this pans out, great. If it doesn't, no big deal. But my excitement is always the same as, as if I'm going to get the job. So some of you may be... Uh, figuring like, wait a minute, 95 an hour. Yeah, that's a corp to corp. So that probably is about $80 an hour on a, a W-2 basically. And you're like, wait a minute, Commvault does that? Yeah, Commvault. Why Why is it pay so much, by the way? Because it's a niche market. It's a super niche market. It's meaning it's very specialized uh, knowledge. And anybody can learn it, by the way. You know, uh, obviously, I'm, you know, going to push my course. On uh, um, get a job in it. Teachable. Com is my course. So in that course, uh, get a job. Teachable. Com. 
on that course or in that course, I teach you everything to learn um, from knowing nothing about Windows, Active Directory, Linux, all that, to getting a job, uh, learning Commvault, and then I teach you the skills and how to get a job in Commvault. And th this is a this is just a, a narrow path to go down, basically, right? Your your competition is less when you're in Commvault, by the way, and backup in general, and it's. Um, not a lot. I mean, I won't say a lot. Not a lot of people know it, but it's a very overlooked skill set, and um, I can tell you, it's a high-paying skill set, right? And obviously, it's it's free to download, right? Everything in my course, um, what I teach you, of course, the course is paid, right? But everything I'm teaching you is something you can do for free. You can download it for free. You can download the software for free. You know, all that. So, so thanks everybody for. Listen to this podcast and have a great day.